Welcome back to the new construction simulator for episode 7 with me, Mr. Silly P. We are continuing, we're at the construction site. Um, thank you to Dozer John for. <laughs> uh, this is what you used to do. I mean, loads of people have been commenting either do this for a living or, you know, something along those lines. I'll keep hold of it for the time being. I'm not, like I say, I'm not sure if I'm going to need that again. I have got to uh, dig a trench. And it has said that I can, it actually did, it did come up just now saying you can lease an excavator or I can use my backhoe. A massive thank you to Mike who messaged to say, don't forget you've got your backhoe you can use. I appreciate that. And I meant to say in the last episode as well, um, going into the store menu and using the filter option, um, Andrew reminded me of that. To be fair um, to myself, when I was doing the earlier episodes, because I wanted to have a look across at all the equipment and machinery that was there, I wasn't using the filter. And that was a deliberate choice, but then the problem was, the more I did it, I forgot about using the filter. So thank you, Andrew, for about the, about the filter. Um, Richard has hit me up with a few different suggestions on ways we can make money. Now, that's something that hadn't crossed my mind. And what I'm going to do is... Um, uh, oh, yeah, when I went past that store the other day, and I said, oh, look, six dudes, and laughed. Um, and then loads of people said to me, we're putting the messages that it was a play on, yeah, I know, we've got five guys in the UK. Um, it's a play on the five guys thing, six dudes, five guys, yeah. Thank you for those people that were telling me, but um, I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm going to lease a dump truck, because when we dig the hole, we can put the earth into the hole. We can take the earth down to the quarry, and we can sell it back. There's a, there's a pit you can put it in which I hadn't done up until now, but what we can do. And I think if we do any road works and things like that, so maybe buying one. The frustrating thing is, this says it's a flatbed, which it is, flatbed with crane. The one in the Europe, on the European map, the German map we've got, is flatbed with crane, but obviously it's the one with sides, and you can put the sides down. With the sides up, you can put earth in it. So I'm wondering, the trouble is this fits because it's an American, it's an American truck. The only one available in the store menu is, um, unfortunately, it's the MAN. I'm going to say MAN. I've always said MAN since I was a kid. I know that people don't like it, but uh, is the MAN option. Now, the other thing as well was I was looking at options for purchasing because it was suggested that I bought um, by Harpeck the uh, crane. Where are we? Go back one. Uh, the fast directing crane LHL1 it's 97 grand we do need some equipment but the other thing as well was I haven't got enough money I probably have got enough money but I just don't want to spend it because I'm a tight wad <laughs> it's um we can, well, at some point, we can lease one of those for the time being but um I'm gonna let's buy some stuff let's buy um we go across to I think it was 40 grand wasn't it let's get ourselves a low loader we're gonna need one aren't we so should we buy that 40 grand. Done. That's that purchased. Yeah, so what I was saying was... Oh, it's this one across here. If we go across one, and then again. So on the, in the German map, we've got that one, flat with crane, but it acts as a dump truck as well. And that's the same price, but it just doesn't fit. And I've been looking through all of the other, other manufacturers. If we go to Mac... They don't have the flatbed. And if we go through to here, the Kenworth don't. They do have a dump truck, but not a flatbed. Um, the DAF don't. Where was the other one I was looking at? I've gone past it. Um, Scania don't. There was another one I was looking at, anyway. It's the one we've got already. What's the one we've got? The manufacturer we've got now. Oh, it's Cat, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So we've got that, the flatbed crane, which is also 100 grand, but doesn't have the sides. So I'm now seriously considering swapping it out for the... Um, the man instead. That way I don't have to then buy a dump truck. I could technically use the one I've got. And then if I do want to use it as a flatbed, I just fold the sides down. But, yeah, we've imported one. We've imported a European one. But let's, should we do that? I don't know. I think it'll give me more options, won't it? 
just but try and be prudent with my money. Um, how do we go about selling it? If I come out of there. I fulfilled the goal by current upgrade level. So the next thing we need to do is once we've got enough money is because uh, we've got our third piece of equipment. We've got our backhoe, we've got the flatbed, and we've got this now. That's three pieces of equipment. We go into here and we go across two upgrade levels. Yeah, so three construction machines on the left, tick. Buy company premises, that's 150 grand. Um, oh, okay. If we pay 50 grand, we can get a mechanic. That's pretty good. Um, automatic repair, 2% faster. Refueled, 4% faster per minute. You also get a 5% discount at the vehicle dealer. So paying out 50 grand on larger ticket items, that will pay for itself fairly quickly, won't it? I think what I'll do is complete the contract I'm on, and then we'll look at... Once we've got a bit more money, we'll have to do that one. Then we need to do an expansion contract, apparently. What ifs, as the youngsters say. Um, so, oh yeah, that was the other thing I was going to do. Go across to here, uh, go to company, go to vehicle fleet. Go to my flatbed crane. Will it... So I don't think I'm going to need that dozer again, but I'm, I don't want to give it back. But we're going to go into the next day and get charged for it. How do I sell that? Do I have to take it into, or can I not sell it? If you're going to upgrade your fleet, I, I would have thought, maybe if we put it into the, it looks like it needs some work as well. Whoa, what is going on? That's horrendous. Why is this something all... Yep. Just wondering if I put it in there. Sorry, we'll get into the contracts. I'm just, I'm just trying some of these things out because these are things I hadn't kind of thought about. Store? No, no, don't. What do I store it? There's going to be something really simple, so really obvious to sell these, aren't there? Oh, yeah, maybe you can't. Don't want to look at my finances. I do not want to know. I want to buy another one. Oh, you know, I think for the time being I'm going to have to leave that. That's really weird. Why can't I? There's going to be a way of doing it. Right, I need to go back to... Um, oh, so I put it into storage. Now I'm taking it out of storage, so it's going to be over there. So what I can do is jump straight to vehicle, or I can fast travel to place. If I go across to there, and we go to our vehicle fleet, uh, we want that. Enter... Oh, there we go. There's my uh, my flatbed. I'm trying to drive around and keep an eye out as well for oh, I'm losing the light again already. Keep an eye out for um, collectibles. But like I said before, I'm normally <laughs> so busy talking and thinking about what I'm doing next and stuff. I don't always notice them. So apologies to those people that find that frustrating. <laughs> We can jump straight to site if we want to. Oh, dump truck, that's what I was going to do. At least a dump truck. Then I, if anything from the trench I can put into the, the dump truck. The only problem I've got is whether or not the amount of earth I dig out 
when I sell it, covers the cost of the dump truck. If it doesn't, then that hasn't paid for itself. But at some point, maybe buying a dump truck. That's why I wanted to get that. I'm, that's baffling me. Why can't I sell? I need to spend a bit of time off currency. The only other thing I, I'm not keen on with the game is the fact that you can't turn save game off. So that thing of, especially when you're making videos and you're having a bit of a play around with stuff, the ability to be able to try something out and then say, okay, no, that didn't work, and then go back to a previous save. Again, unless I'm being really blind, I've missed something. Now, is that one of those ones again? I've used this before, but if I don't go into the manual, that's, that instruction's going to stay there, isn't it? Come back out. No. There we go. We'll start this end. Like I said, I think it would be better if I um, do that. Do that. Okay, but I was going to get a dump truck, wasn't I? Uh, so, not building yard. What do I want? Vehicle dealer. Enter. Doesn't really matter. I thought I'd go for a different manufacturer, something I haven't used yet. We did. Kenworth for the mix, so didn't we? There's Mac. And we've got the European offerings. Has Cat got one? Yeah, there's a Cat dump truck there. Let's run that. Oh, the other thing I was going to say. Oh. Sorry about that. I hadn't really showed, and I probably should have done. What, did, what just happened then? Did I just do something I shouldn't have done? That sounded like a cha-ching. Now I'm panicking. Got to be careful now. Um, if you go to there, whichever vehicle you want, and then go to um, triangle, keep finger on it, go to showroom, you can look at all the vehicles. And you can scroll through like that if you wanted to. All the different vehicles to see a little bit sort of more closer up, I say. Um, you've got a little bit of rotation, but only to there. And there's no up or down. And you've got a tiny little bit of movement using my right stick. So it tells you your rent, your purchase price, all that kind of stuff. Which you can see another thing, just gives you a different view on it. It keeps doing that every time. Now I... I'm going to have to go to the thing now, because I'm panicking that I've... I've I don't think my money went down, did it? Sorry, I'm being very dithery. I, I wanted to have a look. What? Oh, I was in my vehicle, so now I've fast travelled here. Brilliant. That, that's just such an awesome move. I should have been out of my vehicle. Oh, okay. There's nothing else here, is there? Got my flatbed. Let's drive the back home, back over there now. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Let's close that a second. Ah, oh, deary me. Simple mistake. It causes chaos. To case have one? No. Dump truck, rent. Cool. I'll take the dump truck now and then I'll come back for my um I blocked all of the where's that? There it is.
yeah, and then we'll um, I'll do I'll bring over the the back. However, we see me move that once. We don't see it again. I'll see you over there. Trouble is, it's getting late again. Um, hopefully, it won't be too bad in the dark. We'll get lights and stuff on. Let's get this trench dug. We're here, we're set up. Let's see how much of a mess I can make of this. <laughs> Let's kill the bucket out. Uh, that needs to go more like that. Not quite full. The reach should have brought that further over, shouldn't I? Yep. What trying to unload? What about? Full bucket. Why is that not going up? Yes, I should be able to do this all in one fluid movement, I know. Let's just bring that a little bit closer. I don't know how... I don't know if it's a nine percent. That's great. I'm not going to full bucket. That's why. That's not helping, is it? I have to move a little bit further, aren't I? to do is do this end now. Why oh, is that not showing anything?
think I've got one I'm going to get out of this one, aren't I? I oh, know. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do now is... Probably should have used the front scoop. <laughs> Although it wouldn't have been so much of a trench, it's just a great big gaping hole. Yeah, what I need to do is go the other way and then gradually work my way this way, don't know. Right, this is going to take a little while. I'm only 18%. I'm going to see you in a bit. Probably in the morning. <laughs> There, do that, that. There we go. There we go. I suppose what I should have done, really, which would have made life a little bit easier. Is um, because if I go in, because I tried this as well before we came on here. If I go interior, I can't see the bucket. That's better for controls, but I can't see my bucket. Whereas if I was parked maybe to the side a little bit, and I was operating like that, I could then see what I'm doing. Maybe that's the way to go. You know what? I'm gonna try that. There'll be loads of people that do this for a living going, well, yeah, of course, that's how you do it. And obviously, normally, you've, you've got your um, your peripheral vision and whatnot. Why is that not? So you can see, and you can lean, that's the thing in the real world, you can kind of lean to one side to see if, if you can't quite see what you're doing. If I come to, I'm just thinking, if I come to the side a little bit, like there... Try that again. So can I help me at all? So if I'm that way a little bit, oh, actually it might, you know. That is so much better. No, curl it up. Curl it up a bit that way. Okay, right, I need to move the, um, the lorry and get the lorry lights on. Like I said, I want to see you in a minute, and I'm going to get this stuff. I've got to get this done, because this is taking forever. That's annoying. If I can move me to there, but then when I click back to use the piece of equipment, it puts my view back to there.
Okay, <laughs> that took way longer than I should have done. I needed to go a lot deeper than I actually did. What have I done? I mean, let's be honest, nobody's going to employ me <laughs> not to do this. But we have got a dump truck. I think we're probably full, actually. Uh, we're just a little bit on the red, so we've just gone... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to tip it. Um, what we're going to do now is head to the quarry without losing any of it if we can. So we need to go to... Oh, that's the sawmill. Where's the... Uh... Oh, gravel pit there. If I fast travel, will all the stuff? I'm, I'm thinking farming simulator. If you if you move stuff, reset it. You lose what's in the back, or do I drive? I think I might drive down there. Um, I'm going to set that as a marker. We'll unload what we've got, <laughs> and I, I don't know if we're going to even cover the cost of the dump actually. But we got a full load. We got paid a little bit towards it. We we're on to the next stage. Enter flatbed truck. Okay, I'm gonna get that in a minute. Right, I'm gonna get. I'll see you down there in a minute. I'm gonna drive down. We'll unload this and see what we earn from. I don't think it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> but hey, you never know. I think, like I say, once you own one of these and you're using it for all sorts of stuff as well. Um, Using quick selection, you can immediately enter a rented or purchased construction machine. Okay. Why did it not tell you that at the start of the game? That would have been brilliant. Okay, let's just stop there a second. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's... I thought it meant I'd, like, like, skip through the vehicles. Okay. Oh, I've got to do that. Okay. Just to get rid of that thing on the menu, and then I'll skip back. Brilliant. Okay, so now I can I can go to that. Deliver construction machine. Okay, I've got to take a load of stuff. We'll do that in a minute. I've got to, I've got to deliver that stuff. Where were we? Dump truck. Come on, lights. Okay. The good thing is, the amount that's been falling over the sides of the way here, I'm barely over the red now, so I'm, I'm pretty much just full. Uh, I've got to find where... Uh, where do I purchase them from? The soils and stuff, because the grate should be near that. That's for tarmac. Oh, is that over there? What's a risk, isn't it? I assume it is. This could be horrendous. Bulk materials can only be unloaded. Yeah, that's where I am. Let's zoom in. Doesn't actually really show me, does it? It's down the bottom of the hill. Oh, this is such a gamble. Um... It's all the way down here. I'll have a look. I can't remember. All oh, right, could be here. There you go. So we can buy soil, sand, gravel, and then we've got the pit here. I don't know. We'll try here. Could might have worked up on the thing as well. But we'll give it a go. So here, and then we. Are we not? Let's <laughs> so we'll find out just how little we get. But, hey, it's all money in the bank. Oh, 6,800. That's all right. So it's actually well worth having it done. Thank you, Richard. Good, cool. Um, do I need the dump anymore? I don't think I need the dump truck anymore. 
So what I'll do, I'll return the dump truck, we'll go and grab the flatbed. Actually, we'll jump to the flatbed now. Dump truck and go back. The company can come and collect it from here. Uh, so we need to switch to that. Enter. This is where things get a little more scary, of course. There we go, across to there. Vehicle fleet. Uh, da, da, da. Dump truck was leased. Return. What's that going to cost me? Okay. Now where to? We've got to go and get PVC pipes and ting. Now, I need to learn from my mistakes when I did this before. Where's the little loading bay? That's here. If I go to the loading bay, I think my lorry is going to need some... Oh, my, sorry. My truck is going to need some repair, I think. Okay. Let's go around. I can find all the information about the dealer. Thank you. I thought we'd been here before. Oh, there you go. When I was in that early episode, when I was saying about this, forklifts are freely available at the building material dealer and on your company premises. Only for loading pallets. If we want one. I've just been into that menu. Why, why are you hassling me, menu? Seriously? There we go. Go away, tip. Right. Uh, filter. That's what we need. Cable drum and pallet of PVC, one of each. So, let's add and add. Go to checkout. Deliver to yard. Auto loading. Purchase. Again, I could deliver to my warehouse if I want to, deliver to a construction site if I want to, but that should be on the back of the lorry. We'll go to site, unload these. Oh, it's been carnage. I, I haven't got anywhere near as much done as I was hoping I was going to. Never mind. Could have been worse, I guess. Quite sure how, but it could have been. Just around the corner, so we can drive. Save me the money on delivery. Where's this got to go? Oh, look, that trench looks a lot better than when I dug it. <laughs> Whatever it was I was doing. Uh, right, so let's go to that and that. best angle is it
One done. Clear the marked area, but oh, hang on. Place components to clear the marked area. What a load of cobblers I've got to put this in. Is this going to reach? Don't know if it will actually. I might have to move. We might just get. Oh no. I don't know. I don't think we will, will we? I mean, that's... Okay, we might have just dodged that. Okay. Lose the light again. Next, unpack construction material. Don't know if I'm still going to need the crane. Let's just hop out of here first. Unpack the construction materials. A flatten area. We need the bulldozer again. <laughs> this should be done in no time with the dozer or the backhoe loader. I can just push it. I'm going to push the stuff with the front of the backhoe loader. I'm not sure how I'm doing time-wise. Shall I see if I can complete it? Let's see if I can get this done. And then we'll end there, I think. going to ask me to clear the area isn't it I'm going to clear the site sorry about that delay I was, I'm was. i sitting recording someone had let farm dog out in the garden and shut the back door and I could hear this scratching sound I'm thinking that's weird what's that and it's, it's pretty cold out today so I paused it went over and then shut the door and someone whoever it was not put him out there had gone upstairs he poor little so and so he came in all freezing cold I know he's a dog and dogs you know in the wild and that kind of stuff, but you know. Let's pop them there. Okay, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. <laughs> must do better. I don't remember leaving the lights on, but I can't remember it. So what I'm thinking is, if we just put the bucket down, uh, like that push forward right to the ground why is that not tipping in there? Kind of doing some. Probably would have been better with the bulldozer, but since I've already returned it. <laughs> wow. 
a whopping 6%. What if I do it that way? So it doesn't actually... No, I don't... All oh, right, so if you do that and tip it right forward and then bring it down, it automatically puts the bucket level. That's, that's absolute rhubarb. Oh, come on, just tip. 12%, that's better. Another one that... Uh, camera, thank you. It's going to be morning again, isn't it, before I'm done. <laughs> it just seems to be the way I go. Go further along. See you in a bit. Whoa, I don't fall in the hole first. We're at 98%. Don't know if we're going to be quite there yet. Let's see. <laughs> a little bit more scooping, I think. If we go along it, maybe. Go. Can't actually pick anything up. There's got to be something I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Now I need to do is drive all the construction machines off the site. Awesome. No longer need to rent a construction machine, return it to the vehicle dealer. I thought I had. I got rid of the dozer. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done I could have done that a lot quicker. Speak with the boss man. Like I was never here. Is there more to do on this contract? Yes! We got it done! Land development.
across 243 grand. That's having bought a low loader. Probably got enough to get a lorry now, I guess. Hydraulic excavator would be, be, be a good addition. I'm sure it would. So these can both go back. I think we need to do some maintenance. Probably. Actually, I don't know how... Let's have a look. Company, vehicle fleet. Yeah, it needs some repair, doesn't it? They both do, actually. Now, where was I could do that? Is it back at my store? I can't remember. But that will be for another episode. Uh, actually, for, before we go, let's see what, what's available now. Oh, there's the parking lot contract. I changed that. Miss Silly P U S now rather than Mr. Silly Puss. <laughs> um, any others? Knocking around, it's always worth having a look at it. Just in case. Looks like that's the next thing we've got to do. Show contract. Contract details, material, I haven't got a shop in this yet. No, um, no materials needed. I find that hard to believe. Now nah, we'll take it on anyway. Now we know. Ring construction machine. Oh, asphalt paver. Cool. That's going to be the next episode. Roadworks debris. Oh, nice. We're going to do some roadworks in the next one. The only thing missing is the final layer of asphalt. We're going to be doing some... Well, I know the US is asphalt. Tarmac. Tarmacadam. I would suggest that first and foremost you rent an asphalt paver from the vehicle dealer and bring it to the construction site. I mean, to be fair, if I'm going to be laying asphalt, I suppose getting an asphalt paver would be a good idea, unless I want to shovel it by hand and then just use a little whacker plate or something. I'm going to take this back to my... Um, shop, my workshop I'm not sure I honestly can't remember where I'm supposed to do my repairs, anyway um, I'll see you on the next one and we're going to do some road working, some asphalt paving make a car park, parking lot I hope you enjoyed it, if you have please give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet please do, if you want to leave a comment feel free, within reason if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. I just thought I'd tack this on the end. I remembered how I was supposed to repair my vehicles. I uh, brought them back to my um, garage area, company headquarters, whatever you want to call it. Come over to the warehouse. Um, if I do that, um, the two vehicles in question, you can store them. So I've stored them into the vehicle hall and it's look across there now to the left it says repaired in 54 minutes uh, and that'll be repaired in one hour so once they're in there and that's why when i said earlier on about um getting the mechanic if you've got the mechanic when you store them it repairs quicker i knew i'd seen it somewhere as when i brought them over here i thought oh, i'll put them away put them out of the way for the time being and then it came up with repair repaired in so yeah in that amount of time they will be fully repaired so it's just a case of whether or not i want to kind of leave it and not touch them and go and do something else but bear in mind we need to an asphalt paver for the next episode so yeah we'll see anyway yeah um see you on the next one